Hey guys, Rocco here. So yeah, I've been playing a lot of the Seven Days to Die. It's a zombie game. It's pretty grim. There's, there's no one else around. You're surviving the apocalypse yourself. So I need a bit of a laugh while I've been editing it as well. So that's even worse. So there's no one around when I'm editing. Except the cat. And yeah, the cat does nothing. Except whistle out his nose all day. It's annoying. But anyway. Aren't you? You're annoying. But yeah, so we're going to do Kenny Sebastian stand-up. As always, always good. So this one's on exams, CBSE, and punishment. So let's get into it, eh? Oop, volume is at brain melting levels. All right, let's go. Damn. Yo, yo. Sit back and just watch us bubble. Gorillas out of the concrete jungle. We come with more heat. You guys know what Kendrick there is, right? There's some rich people like, what is this, a spa? <laughs> because it's a government school. <laughs> it barely qualifies as a school. <laughs> barely. Like, they have rooms that resemble classrooms. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, so it had a, we had a lovely curriculum in KB called CBSE. It's so depressing, CBSE, that the only thing we look forward to is discussing marks. <laughs> See, people show off like, hey bro, I got 88%. Like, yeah, I got 90%, bro. And one person like, I got 94. <laughs> got 94? Yeah, I do state syllabus. Hey, state! Uh! <laughs> Get out, man! And then one guy will come and be like, I got uh, 95, I do ICC. Oh, you, go buy it. Okay, you will leave. <laughs> you will pay for your bill. Just... ICC, who did ICC? Oh my god, you guys are sorted for life, okay? While we were learning addition and subtraction, you we were learning how to send Mars rovers. <laughs> I don't know what retarded curriculum they have. Oh my god, it's scary. <laughs> and obviously, uh, in, uh, in KV, they do a lot of torture techniques uh, to slowly break you down as a child. The first thing is called morning assembly. <laughs> morning assembly is a phenomena. Where you put kids in the roast them to light medium brown. Yeah, we used to have that. Sure, they turn brown. <laughs> and they make the guys stand in ascending order of insecurities. Shortest, least self confident guy goes in the class. <laughs> Genetically gifted, tall guy who's good looking will do very well life in the back. <laughs> If you're gonna play with it, make a stand and decline, no! <laughs> hey, you're also too small, yeah, correct, sorry. <laughs> Same with the class photos. While you're at it, just, just... They make sure that everyone does not have a sense of individualism. <laughs> They're making sure everybody wears the same uniform. And there's, there's the wicked death eater of the morning assembly, the person who checks if you're wearing a uniform correctly. <laughs> Bad you asshole. No kid should be given so much power. <laughs> I'm just like, oh, Macha, I'm not wearing the belt. <laughs> Don't worry, just pull your shirt like this. <laughs> He'll never check. Yeah, no. I'll just pull it like this. He won't yeah, we check. didn't have that. And he goes and he's like, he fuck it. He'll just go like, oh, he'll pass you and like, <sighs> and then he'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> we had that for the safety goggles in metalwork class that someone would check if you didn't have them. I love the pledge. We used to always wait for someone to screw it up. India is my country. Yeah, keep going, keep going. You fuck up. That's rupee bol raha hai. He'll break in the middle. All Africans are my brothers. See, he screwed up. No one got it right. I still can't get it right. Like, I've heard it every day for 12 years. <laughs> and then, yeah, so there are torture techniques that uh, teachers use. Oh, you know, they're the worst. Uh, or the best. So there was this teacher called Prasad, sir. I still call him sir because I'm afraid he can't make me <laughs> somewhere. Just check if he's not here. <laughs> That's awesome. 
Because Vrasatsa used to do this thing. So there's a proper high Hitler thing in school. You just, good morning, teacher. After a point, it wasn't about respect anymore. It was like, don't hit me, teacher. <laughs> so Prasad sir, you obviously had a nickname. Every teacher has a nickname, right? So you can respect it. <laughs> Only when I grow up, I realize how tough it is to be a teacher. But let's go back to <laughs> so, Doc, so Prasad sir, we used to call him James Bond. Because he used to wear shades. And he used to have like slick back hair, full perfectly gelled. I think he gelled it with the tears of the children. <laughs> Yes. Freshly gel. <laughs> and he used to try to catch us. Like, we didn't even like mess up. He used to make sure we mess up. So he used to like enter suddenly into the room and all of us will be caught by surprise and someone is not standing will get caught. So what we used to do in the between the class we have five minutes of like freedom. Right? Yeah. It's just it's pure freedom. Teacher leaves like nah. we're just chilling. And all of us are smart. Like we used to keep one leg distance from our desk. You should chill like this, teacher comes in, good morning, sir. So we prepared. But then we want two idiots who like in the back are like, and then the teacher comes in, like, ah! Oh. Cool. And Prasad, sir, used to like, he was a cold blooded killer. He used to like, Kenny? Yes, sir. Stan. Make Arjun also stand. Sir, Arjun ne kuch ne kya, sir. <laughs> Why are you bringing him to this? You want me? Go after me! So Arjun and me are standing. And now his weapon of choice was the duster. Oh, the duster. <laughs> All you rich folks will be like, oh, it's a big deal with the duster, Kenny. A duster in Kenzie Vidalia. <laughs> I'm just thinking, if I was a duster manufacturer, <laughs> what is the material I would use? <laughs> when I know the duster is going to be around <laughs> children. I'm sure they had a board meeting, right? They would have discussed this, right? So what do you think we should use for the duster? I don't know, you recommend. Wooden nails? <laughs> Perfect, let's manufacture it for all the Kendra Vidalias. So Prasad sir took that duster and he's about to throw it at me. And Arjun started shivering. Because Prasad sir has bad aim. <laughs> so Arjun is like, mm -hmm. I'm like, mm -hmm. He takes the duster, throws it, obviously hits Arjun. <laughs> but I have to react, I'm like, oh! Oh, I can totally imagine how that feels, don't do it again! I've learned my lesson. Uh, I, th I think the worst thing about that getting punished was exams, man. I just don't know why we did exams. I don't see the purpose of it, but it is important, children. It is important, exams <laughs> are important. If you don't do well in exams, you'll end up like me. <laughs> Happy. So don't, don't do exams. So, in all I guess I'm eighth fail or anything, I have an undergrad, okay, don't. I have a degree in painting, okay, it's a, it's a degree. It's a degree physics called Organic Chemistry Masters. It is a degree, I painted for four years and did sculpture, okay, it's cool. <laughs> the only thing I learned from painting college is that all the paintings are contemporary, just that. <laughs> That's a secret. You go to art museum, you don't know what to say. Contemporary, right? <laughs> it's all So anyway, worst thing was exams. Because in exams, anyway, you know you're gonna fail, right? And you study, but you write the exam, and you come back home, and your parents are so sweet, they really care. They're like, how was the exam? Oh, fantastic! I think I'll get 95. Maybe I'll lose one mark for handwriting. <laughs> I don't know, chill. And then you get the paper, and obviously, like, I got 14 or something. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm coming to terms with it. He's making I'm himself laugh. I'm coming to terms with it and I'm like, okay, got 14. Probably get slapped <laughs> once or twice. It's okay, it's cool. You can manage it. Just work harder for the next one. And then the teacher gives you this false sense of hope. If there are any calculation mistakes. <laughs> And I have the audacity to go compare my paper with the class topper. <laughs> Bro, give your paper to that. How is your 95? Oh, what do I have it? The same only. Yeah. <laughs> only last is uh, last answer is wrong. At least you get uh, seven marks for method, no? So go back to the teacher. 
and he puts you in your locker. Like, sir, I have to get two marks for what? <laughs> sir, I have to get five more marks, eh? Take this paper, put up your ass. <laughs> And then, the hottest girl in class goes up to the teacher and this weird thing happens. I just look back to it now and it is pretty weird. It's like, sir, I got 98. I need to get one more mark, sir. <laughs> so, that's when I realized what sexual tension was. <laughs> So why is the room getting so hot suddenly? And so used to give it. It was so creepy. He's a middle-aged man. So next time when I went for a date, which is like, hey, Kenny, I'm like, oh, calculation mistake. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he's awesome. He is always quality. Yes, damn teachers and their punishments, man. I tell you what, they're the best at it. Definitely, they've, they've they had the time to think about it, and they know what pisses kids off, and they know what pisses everyone off, I suppose. But yeah, let us know what the worst punishment you ever received was in in school, or just anywhere. Parents are pretty good at it too. But yeah, let us know what you think, guys. Make sure you check out Kenny's site, because yeah, there's a heap more on there. <laughs> Cheers, guys. <laughs>